Ginger and today I will be doing a haul of the books that I've gotten from Book Hunt and from Book Outlet from the Black Friday sale and the following day I'm probably going to be doing my TBR for January and then I'm going to be doing all the books that I've gotten from Barnes & Noble because I have so many boxes but I'm not going to have time to <laughs> open those up right now. So to get this started I'm going to start off with the first set of books that I got which was the Miss Bourne trilogy because I've heard nothing but great things about this and I'm like I've got to read this ASAP plus it was on book outlets so I'm like you know what it's not a bad deal because it comes with all three books and I'm like you know what it's a pretty good deal so I'm gonna take advantage of that the next book that I got I've been wanting to get some copies of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland so I was checking out on Book Outlet during like Black Friday and there was a sale going on so I was like absolutely I'm taking these copies. So the first copy which I saw that I absolutely needed was the complete annotated Alice which is for the 150th anniversary which I believe was last year I think. But yeah I was just like yes I'm going to take this one because I've seen this in the little bookstore that's in my hometown and it's like $40 and I'm just not paying that much and I got it for an even cheaper deal. Next book, the next Alice book that I got was The Complete Alice. But this is the 150th one. I forgot from which brand. I think it's from Macmillan. And this one is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at that. And then the red so the spine. Oh my goodness, everywhere. And it even comes with a little bookmark because not a lot of books have that anymore. And then another copy of Alice that I got is this one. It's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Other Tales. And it's inside of this box. I'm going to take it out. And it looks like this. It's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It's huge too. And it's like hardcover. And this also has like that pretty bookmark thing in here. I don't know if you can see it. My goodness I had to take this one too because this one goes for like 30 or 40 I think and then another copy I've been wanting I've been seeing around and I'm like you know what that's a pretty one so this is the last one that I think I have bought and it's this copy um the puffin and bloom edition I believe it is so cute oh my goodness I can't get over it it looks so adorable so I was like you know what I should definitely get on that there's pictures in here oh my god this looks gorgeous like, I can't get over it. So now, that is the last of my Alice books. Now it's on to the, the regular books that I bought from Book Outlet. The first one I saw, and it was like the last copy there, it's Bogus to Bugly. And it's like an insider's guide to the world of uglies by um, Scott Westerfeld. And I read the first book, and it was so good. I actually even have a signed copy. I've been trying to buy the other three books. I'm missing one more, which I plan on buying sometime next year, so then I can just reread them and then do a review. So the next one I got, I had seen this one around, and I typically don't like contemporary books, but I do make exceptions. And this one, I was kind of like wondering how this one would turn out, and it's called Royally Crushed. And all I know is that it's about a girl, she moves to some place I think in Europe and she meets a prince and apparently it's there's a romance there but it's like three books in one I believe and it's, it's pretty thick it's almost 500 pages oh no it's a little bit more it's like 600 I think so it's, a, it's almost 600 pages it's like 597 yeah it's about 600 pages the next one I've been wanting to read for a long time but I've never gotten around to it but I saw it on book outlet and recently the, the author passed away he was about 96 and that is Watership Down by Richard Adams I think it is yeah and so all I know is it's about bunnies and they're trying to get to a new place I think and that's all I know and I know there was a movie which I want to watch after I read this my aunt saw the movie and she loved it she told me it was really good so I'm like you know what should definitely get on that. I'll probably put this as part of a book that I'll probably read sometime in 2016. I mean 2017, wow. Another book which I actually read I think back in January of this year was The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath which I loved. I gotta do a favorites of 2016. I'll probably do that maybe tomorrow or the day after. I have to see. But yeah, this book is definitely good. It definitely deals with like, men I think mental illness and depression. Oh my goodness, because I can't remember this book that much, but I know I loved it. 
and this is the large print edition and I saw it on Bukala. I was like, you know, it's not a bit, it's not a bad deal. So I was like, you know what, I should definitely take it. Plus, I I don't think it's so bad that the print's so much larger. Sometimes I think it's better that way. I really don't like the small paperbacks unless like they don't have any other copy of it. And it's like the words are super tiny. It's like you need a magnifying glass. Another book which I definitely want to read next year. It's called What If by Rebecca Donovan, and she wrote the Breathing series, which I definitely want to read as well. I have them on my shelf somewhere and heard nothing but really great things about it and I heard there's going to be a movie. I don't know when but definitely want to get on that. So I was like I saw this for a really good price. I was like yes I will get on that. Another book I read I think a while back but I loved it and it stood with me for quite a while and it's called This Song Will Save Your Life and it's one of the few contemporaries that I actually have as a favorite and it's about a girl she tries to fit in and it's like doesn't work. And it's like she tries so hard to be in the in crowd at school, but it's not it's not happening with her. So basically, she she discovers this underground like club, and she really gets into DJing. So if you're really into music, I would definitely recommend this book. Another book that I want to read because I've heard great things about, and I'm gonna give it a second chance because I tried to read it once and I couldn't get into it. So I hope like if I read it the second time around, it'll be better. And it's called The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson because she wrote the other book. I forgot what it's called. My mind is blank right now. But bear with me. All I know is that the main character, her older sister, dies. And it's like there's like a love triangle because there's a new guy at school that comes and he has some interest in her. But then she kind of has like this thing for her dead sister's boyfriend, which I think it's so wrong. But I just hope that the book gets better because... I love the way she wrote this book because I think her writing style was beautiful, but the love triangle kind of is weird to me. I mean, I don't know what I would do in that situation, but like I said, it was it was still weird, but I'm going to give it another shot next year. And another book which I, I want to read, which I read, I read one of her other books. It's called Saving Francesca by Melina Marchetta. I read her other book, um, On the Jellica Road, which I loved, even though it's been a while since I read that one, but that one was a really good book, too, from her. And this one, I forgot what it's about, but I was like, you know what? It's cheap on Book Outlet. I want to read it. I'll put in some time. I mean, it's not even long. I typically don't go for contemporaries, but I have exceptions. And another book I'll probably read next year during Christmas is called The Christmas Secret, because I saw the movie on the Hallmark Channel, and I thought it was actually really cute. And I was like, you know what? There's a book. I'm going to I'm gonna look for it. So I saw it on Book Out. And I said, you know what? Let me take it. It was only $2. So I was like, it's not so bad. Another book, which I actually read a while back. And it's a really good one. This one's actually on a, my favorites as well. It's called Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delera. And it's about a girl. Her name is... Oh my God, not May. That's the sister. Laurel. Her sister May died. And something happened, like, she was there when her sister died, but you don't know what happened. So, she starts off in a new school, and as an English assignment, her teacher tells him to write a letter to a dead person. So, she writes a lot of letters throughout the book to many different dead people, and it's so good, but it's really sad. I always go for the really sad books. Don't ask me why when it comes to contemporaries. I guess I'm curious, like, how people handle these situations. Another book which I've heard really good things about is from Scott Westerfield, and that's called Afterworlds. Now, I completely forgot what this one was about, but it was on sale on Book Outlet, and it's about, all I know, I think it's about a girl. She becomes an author, and I believe she's, she's putting her name out there, and it's like you get snippets from her book and, like, what's going on in her life. That's probably a terrible synopsis, but <laughs> that's all I can think of at the moment. So now those are all the books I got from Book Outlet. Now I'm going to go to the books that I got while I was at the Comic Con slash Book Con that was like together. So while I was there I saw they had a lot of, well not a lot, a lot, but they had some free books. So one of the books that I took, you're going to laugh, it's called Cream of the Crop. This was free. I didn't even bother to look at the cover because they were giving out free books at that time. So I was just taking whatever I could get my hands on. And this is supposed, this is probably a new adult, obviously, by the cover. I mean, really don't know if I'm even going to keep this book unless it's actually really good. 
really don't know. Another book, I believe I got this one signed, is called Bellwether. The author was really nice. I waited in line because I was like, I don't get signed books that, that often, so why not? Here it is. Okay, so another one I got. This one looked really cute, and this one I think is like middle grade. It's called The Explorers. This one I also got signed. I'm not sure when some of these come out currently. This one comes out, oh my goodness, I don't know when. Hold on, I'll tell you right now. Oh, April of next year. Another book, which I heard is supposed to be really good. This one comes out in February of next year. And it's called Gilded Cage. I don't know what this one's about, but I got this one signed. But it looks really pretty because she wrote it in gold. And Oh, and she gave me a bookmark. Even better. A pretty matching bookmark to go with it. Another book which I wanted, and it's funny because I didn't think I was going to be able to get it. Because when my brother went on Saturday, he gave his copy to my sister. So when I went again on Sunday, she was signing the book. And so I had told her, and she's like, well, you got it now. And even better, you got it signed. I was like, you know what? You are so right. And it's called Bear and Night. <laughs> I'm sorry. The Bear and the Nightingale. I believe that's how you say it. And this one comes out, I believe, next year. Yeah, in January. I'm not sure on the specific day. Another book which I got, and I haven't read the first one of, but I heard it's supposed to be good. I got Blood for Blood, which is the sequel for Wolf by Wolf. And I forgot the synopsis, honestly. All I know is it has something to do with, I think, World War II, like during the Holocaust. And there was like, oh my goodness, I forgot, honestly. But I heard it's supposed to be really good. Another book that I'm definitely going to read next month, I'm going to do a TBR tomorrow, I think. It's going to be, it's called Short. And this looks so cute. It's a middle grade contemporary and I typically don't read them, but this one looks like it's going to be good. This one looks so cute. I really like this cover. I know it's bad to judge a book by its cover, but let's be honest. We all do it. We've all done it. Okay, let's see. Another book. Another one that... Did I get the sign? No, I did not. Okay, it's called Sleeping Giants. Now, I'm going to assume this is maybe like a san the fantasy or a sci-fi type of book from what I gather, from what it looks like. I'm not sure what it's about, but I'll probably read it at some point. Just not right now. Another book which I snatched. I don't know what this is about. It's called Dissension. I don't know what this one's about, but this one was free as well. I did buy a couple of books, but not a lot. Another book. This one looks really cute. This one looks like more like for Halloween, though. It's called Tales from the Scare Master. Scare Master. Oh my goodness. I can't even like talk today. I don't know what's wrong with me. It actually looks cute. It's a quick read, too. I mean, it's not that long. Another book, it's another middle grade, I think. It says Into the Lion's Den, The Quick Mysteries, I think. And it's an advanced arc as well. Um, I'm not sure when this one comes out. Oh, I got this is all getting heavy. And then another book that I got, this one's not an arc, actually. This is a finished copy, but they were giving them out. And it's called Nightmares by Jason Segal. This one looks like it's cute. I would probably read this like for October looks more of like a Halloween type read, but it looks cute. And another book which actually looks gorgeous, which I'm definitely going to be reading, it's called The Iron Cast. They were giving this one out free if you signed up for, I don't know what you gave in, you gave your name and your email address. So pretty. I know, I'm horrible. Like, I judge books by their covers. So now I'm going to put these back in the bag and I'm going to go to my second bag of books that I got. So many books to read it's like oh, what books to read first so many it's just like oh my goodness these sounds all, they all sound so good the next bag i have it's actually a neil gaiman bag so i had to buy a book in order to even get it but i think it's in another bag and this is what it looks like and so the first book i don't know if this one's signed i don't think so is it yes it is this one I signed as well. It's called Lightless. This cover it's called Lightless. I think it's like not paranormal. I think it's sci-fi. I believe there's a sequel called Supernova. Yeah. It's a sequel back there. I don't know what it's about, honestly. Because it was free. So I was like, you know what? Okay, so to get this bag, I, I had to buy a book. 
So I was like, I really want the Neil Gaiman back. So I took Before I Fall because it is going to be a movie. And I like the way she wrote it. It's just that the, the main gist of this book is about a girl named Sam. And she's a mean girl. And one day she gets into a car crash and she dies. But for some reason she's living the day over and over. I think it's like seven or eight times. So the movie's coming, I believe, in March. And I really want to see it. So I'm like, you know what? I want to read the book first, even though it's, it's a little long. Plus it has like two new stories with bonus content so that should be really good let me see another book i got it's called alive by scott sigler not sure what this one's about but it doesn't look so bad i have so many books to read it's like ugh, it's so much another book which was free was this modern love i don't know it looked really cute and it looks like a quick read so all of these pictures definitely a quick read i could probably read I could read within the day another book which I had to get because I keep hearing such wonderful things about it and it was free so I was like you know what this could be an opportunity to read at some point and it's Red Rising I keep hearing about it so I'm just like oh. so many books it's like I can't even another book is fangirl and this was the last copy I think they had because I went again I went on Friday and Sunday when I went on Sunday this one was being given out. I mean, not given out. It was on sale. The books were on sale. Hardcovers were 10. Paperbacks were 5. So this was one of them that I got. I got this one for 10. Plus, this is like a really pretty one. I didn't think I was going to like this one, but now I have the matches. So I want to get the one for Eleanor and Park. The, the pretty one as well. I know there's like a really... And then another book, which I... The paperback that I took for $5 was the Throne of Glass coloring book. I had to get it, even though I haven't read the books yet. I have them on my shelf, which I do plan on reading. It's just like, uh, life gets in the way. And I'm just like, uh, why? Why? Okay, so the last bag, which I also had to buy, was this Young Elites bag, which now I, I still have like a few more books in here. Okay, so in order to get the bag, I bought An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. And I heard this is a really good book. So I'm hoping that I really like it. And another arc, which I think this is going to be the first book that I'm going to start reading for next year is Roseblood. And I got the pretty, not a bookmark. Oh my goodness, it's like a pretty matching mask. I definitely want to read it. I haven't read her Splinter series, but I have them up on my shelf, which I'm probably going to read sometime next year for sure. And another book, and this one I think was the last of this arc, and I... I was lucky enough to find it in a pile and that's called a face like glass and I was just like oh my goodness I have this weird obsession with like masks on covers because they always intrigue me the most and another book which I went okay I have this ugly sticker on it which I have to remove it's called blood rose rebellion which I was able to snag a copy of because I had gotten an email saying if you show the email to a certain booth then I can get a free arc of it and I was like for sure because this doesn't come out I think until March of next year I think it's March I'm not sure but I think it's March and I got an arc in this bag when I bought the book and that is the castle in the mist which I believe this book is already out I believe this came out like October or November I'll probably read this one. I mean it's not even a long read it's pretty quick it's like maybe 200 pages Another book I think just came out, I believe, this month is called Horizon by Scott Westerfeld. And I definitely want to read it. My brother picked up this book for me when he went on Saturday. I was like, okay, yeah, sure, I'll probably read it. And I believe that concludes my video because I believe there's no more books that I have at this point. Except for the Barnes & Noble ones, but I'm going to haul that in like another day or two. So, with that being said, I am ending my video and I will see you next time. Bye! Thank you.